I mean, I believe he's probably one of the most difficult characters that I have to play in front of the, of the camera. Hello, Luis. Hello, Scoot. Hi, Jenna. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you. So I'm going to start with you, Scoot. Is Walt satisfied with everything he accomplished on season three? Um, in a brief answer, I would say no. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I think he sort of finds a bit of content. Okay. And for you, Luis, how is it for you like to, to become part of this Narcos world? Uh, I mean, I've been a huge fan from the show from season one. And um, when I get the invitation uh, for doing this role, I was re really excited because I love the show, but also because the character um, was fascinating. You know, like the opportunity to talk about the what happened in Juarez in the 90s, which is a big problem still in my country, the, the issue of femicides was, uh, it was very moving that they thought about me for playing this character and uh, I don't know, I'm really excited to finally share this with the audience and see um, what resonates out there. Yeah, and Scoot, for you like this time around, what was like your biggest challenge? Um, on this, well, probably the shooting of it. Um, it was so stop and go with, um, you know, COVID like most all, all productions and uh, the stopping and starting as well as like learning how to work under these new guidelines and stuff was a, a learning curve and learning experience that was really tough, but you know, beneficial. It, it, that was probably the hardest thing was like wrapping it up. Also the bittersweetness of like, I really love the show. I love the character. I love everybody that I was working with. And it was, um, you know, it was sad to know that that's, that's coming to an end. Yeah, I know. I'm sad too. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. And Luis, come back to you. You, you have, uh, your character, Vitor, you have like, it's not that he has this double life, but he has this, he's a cop and then he also do some killings. Can you talk, how did you balance that? Yeah, well, like the, the main question for me as an actor, and I think the main question for Victor as a character or human being is, is what is integrity, right? Like trying to understand integrity in Mexico, in Ciudad Juarez, in the 90s, being a cop. I think it, it doesn't get trickier than that, basically. Um, and um, that was uh, that what the reason that drew me to to play this character. Um, um, I think I think he's he's a cop that really wants to do the right thing, but the circumstances and the situation around him uh, are very very complex. You no, know? like like the world <laughs> right now. You know? Yeah, exactly. And Scoot, what did you learn like playing Walt about yourself? What did you learn about yourself? <laughs> um, that no matter how hard you work at stuff, like there's not always a happy ending or you don't always get what you want, you know? And that's sort of how the world works um, in your character's life as well as in your personal life. And, um, st you know, personally is, is, you know, trying to stay positive about those things. And Walt, a, a little different archetype or architecture to his character that, you know, maybe he doesn't stay so positive, but it, he at least finds contentment. Yeah. And, and Luis, it, it's, this character is a little like, Victor is a little bit different from other characters that we already play, especially uh, some comedy ones that you had. Uh, what did you learn from him? And and you have anything that can relate to him? <laughs> Yeah, well, I hope uh, I hope is 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 different. Uh, I I think um, I mean I believe he's probably one of the most difficult characters that I have to play in front of the of the camera. Um, uh, and um, yeah, I learned a lot of stuff. I mean, it it, it was like a really big um, challenge, not just like the physical change for the role, but also like to understand uh, the universe of of the of the cops in Mexico. You know, like. Cops in Mexico, they have a really bad reputation, but they, they, there are some cops that they really want to do what's right. The problem is that the payment they receive is ridiculous. So, that, so they need to make uh, another way of living, you know, like getting money for all, all this corruption and really gray 
universe where they live. So that was that was pretty uh, fascinating. Yeah, the system is already corrupted. So it's just I'm from Brazil, so I know how bad oh, it is in Mexico yeah. too. So yeah, 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 I can yeah, compare yeah. both of them. And for us to wrap it up, Scoot, what we can expect of season three? Um, you know, when you lock up a kingpin that's sort of um, controlling this massive uh, business enterprise and it's a free for all, the things that unfold and um, the events that take place from the repercussions of that is 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 going to be what the the show and the entertainment is about, among other really fascinating other storylines that that, for instance, Luis's storyline as well, that's sort of opening up different discussions. Amazing. So I just want to thank you both so much for your time, a lot of success, and I cannot wait for everybody to watch Narcos Mexico season three. Muchas gracias. Ciao, ciao. Gracias, Diana. Thank you so Bye. much. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.